you're not off your food, mate. No, it's, uh, it's not the grub, Alan. I've invited Diane around tonight. I'm going to cook her a meal. If that's all right with you. No problem. Anything for Diane. Yeah, I just hope I don't show myself up, that's all. I wish I could cook like you. <laughs> Egg and chips is about your speciality, isn't it? I've got some cookbooks in the kitchen. Feel free, help yourself. I appreciate that, Alan. You won't be thanking him when he's burnt your kitchen down. Shut it, Squid Lee, will you? What time does the boat end? Seven o'clock to eight. You make a sign he's ready, Len. Oh, try, love. And how's the voting going so far? Grim, lad, grim. There's only ten so far. Where is everybody? Oh, you've all day to go yet. Well, I hope this doesn't blow up in your face. And I'm sure whatever happens, Betty will come back to you. You don't know my Betty. But there's hours to go yet, man. Don't give yourself palpitations. I get more than palpitations if this doesn't go my way. I can't face life as a single man. Oh, flaming Nora. <coughs> Brought your mug of tea, son. Sam, you got up. I don't feel well. well. You look all right to me. Andy, you had a bit of a day of it yesterday. Maybe if he came downstairs. I've got a suggestion, Dad. It's going to make me feel loads better. Look, you're a young man now. And you've got to face what comes with that. Get washed and dressed. Lying about in here all day won't solve any problems. I'm sick of the sight of Betty's mug in the papers. Anyway, yeah, I know I might have got knocked back yesterday, but tonight is going to be the night. So where's Sid taking you? Oh, he doesn't know about it yet. Sidle up to him, nab him on the wares, get stuck in, that's what I say. Don't you worry. By the time I finish with Sid, he won't know what's hit him. I've got some news for you, Nicola. And don't forget, you've got me to thank for Sid coming to the village in the first place. Hmm, nice move, Viv. I've got my date for my driving test. Really? A couple of weeks. Plenty of time to alert the emergency services then. No, you'll pass first time, no problem. <laughs> oh, wish me luck for tonight. Bye. <laughs> Am I in? <laughs> Front page, Betty. Oh, and a very nice picture of me if I do say so myself. <laughs> oh, here we go. Well, I can't help it if people are interested in me, Edna. What are you going to do if people say you're not to go back to Mr Armstrong? Well, I can't say I haven't missed my Seth, but I haven't missed Pummel in his long jumps. <laughs> and you know what they say, love? Always leave your fellow waiting for more. <laughs> you're learning a lot about men today, Emily. Should but be taking notes? Surely you'd go back, whatever happened. Well, happen I might, but if I didn't, I can always rely on the goodwill of friends, can't I, Edna? I didn't think you'd be at work somehow. Thought I'd keep myself busy. Best to carry on, Diane. My thoughts exactly. But I'd have found something a bit more exciting than housework to occupy me. It suits me. Mr. Bit. I normally have a teenage girl to run around after, don't I? By heck, this house is quiet without her. I've made a right mess of things, haven't I? Oh, don't be daft, man. She hasn't been in touch yet. I've been dying for that phone to ring. Give her time. I could have handled this better. Maybe. But you've both had a lot to deal with lately. You've done your best. Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brittany and P. Diddy, give it a rest. Thank God. <laughs> oh. You see off to exams? Let's get you slept in. Where is she? Well, I don't know. Where is she, Andy? She's at her mum's. But she ate someone. You all right, mate? Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. Good morning. 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 I was wondering, will you all be going to the cafe later? Yeah, of course. Well, I am. And you too? Um, yeah. yeah. So, Betty and I can count on you voting for her to return home? What do you want to know for? No need to get smart with me, young man. Just ignore him, Mrs Birch. I'll do my best. Now, don't leave it too late. There may be a queue. <laughs> the Village in Bloom competition isn't that far away, Marlon. So we need to buy some more plants. Got to prune me roses, trim me trees. Anything else? Yes. Pick up some compost, two big bags. And you can stop looking like that, cos I've got it all on, ain't I? What we're planning Diane's birthday party. I take on too much, you do. Yeah, well, I 
can't help it if I'm so good at organising events. Now let's get back to this list, make sure we haven't forgotten anything. Guess who? Nicole Kidman. Oh, Nicola Blackstone. So, did you have a nice time last night? Not bad. It would have been better if I was with you, though, wouldn't it? Any chance of fitting me in your busy schedule? Mm. I made the right decision not having him do the ocean for us. At least we'll leave you going to see the full day's work out of her. Mm, don't rub it in, Marlon. And we need some ornamental pots. I'm really looking forward to seeing Bernice again and spending more time with Gabby. It would be lovely for the three of us to be together again. Which reminds me, I must bring round Gabby's things. What about yourself? You all packed? I'm all packed and ready for anything. I've been invited round to the B&B for a meal tonight. Good. So things are better between you and Mac, then? Seems like it. He's certainly making an effort. And he's taking me out tomorrow as well for my birthday. Said I only popped out of the vets to see when we're going out. Well, I'm not sure. A girl doesn't like to be kept waiting. Well, th I suppose I could take you out tonight, then. Oh. So what have you got in mind? Pop over to the B&B later and you'll find out. I've got a date. I've got a date as well. Mm. Well, I hope you have a great time, Diane. I know I will. Don't worry, I intend to. Oh, Mrs. Eggleton, how do you feel? Well, I am excited, if not a little nervous, at the impending result. Well, naturally. Now, what if the vote goes against Mr. Armstrong? Where will that leave you? Well, I don't think I should comment on the outcome at this conjecture. Well, good luck to you, Betty, and thanks for allowing us an interview on such an important day. No trouble at all, I assure you. OK, then. <laughs> Ta-ta. Betty Eggleton there, reigning supreme on the internet. I've never heard so much codswallop in all my life. <sighs> well, I've made it on the wireless. I could be on park here by the end of the week. You're in cloud cuckoo land. Well, I can't help it if the public have taken me to their hearts. Fondant fancy? Oh, no, thank you. I've got to watch my figure now. I hear them TV cameras can put £10 on your midriff, and besides, some of us have to look our best at not. Thousands of people are expected to be logging on and voting today as Hotton and Beyond is gripped by Betty Eggleton and her web Turn it off. I've heard enough. She back in with her partner, Seth Armstrong. But he could have had the decency to put in a word for my cafe. This is where it all started. How's it going on the net, Mr Armstrong? Slow. Mind you, we've still got USA to come in, then being hours behind us. Chloe, we need to get organised. It's going to be very busy later on, so get battering. Only one side of the bats, mind you. And make sure the ham is sliced very thinly. Don't worry, Mr Armstrong. It'll all turn out for the best. Set two more places for dinner tonight. Managed to get myself a date with Nicola Blackstock. That is not my problem, Squidley. I'll fetch a few cans, double date. We've done it before. Hey, boys. All right. Oh, yeah. Whoops, I'm late. Uh, I've got to help Trisha choose some wine for Diane's surprise birthday party. You all geared up for it, Mac? Yep, all set. You're coming, aren't you? Uh, it's not really my thing. Go on, it'd be a fantastic night. Well, if there's free booze, I might show me face. All right, I'll see you then. Yeah. That's just supposed to be me and Diane tonight. So what? You'll see you tomorrow, won't you? Yeah. Yeah, but, but I owe her, that's all. Thank God for that. I thought you were losing your touch for a minute. Nice one. Might be a good night after all. Now then, lad, what's got your goat? Oh, leave us alone. It must be one thing, then, a woman. Tell me about it. Is it your Katie? It's all right, miss. Well, I've lived a few years longer than you, and in my life I've had good times and I've had some bad times and all. But I'll tell you one thing, love will always see you through. Do you think so? I know so. So come on, lad, cheer up. You're too young to be worried. It's not looking good. What's going on? Well, there's loads of people voting. Oh, that's more like it. No, it isn't. They said they don't want better to come back. God save us. It can take more than prayers to save my bacon. Love always sees you through, eh, Seth? On your feet, Seth Armstrong. We've lived through a world war. Do you think I'm going to let this beat us? Well, what can I do about it? 
Well, we'll bang on doors. We'll get people in until we get the result I want. Betty Eggleton back home where she belongs. By the way, Sid was talking. He's got a big night in store for me. I told you, the Vivian Hope technique with men never fails. Well, I'd love to stay and chat, but there's a hunky man waiting for me and I don't want to disappoint him. I'd best get to your house and put my face on. Talking about houses, Nicola, have you had a chance to have a word with your landlord? Oh, he's not even noticed that I'm not paying the rent. And anyway, you won't be seeing me that much now, Sid's taking me out all the time. Bye. How's it going with Nicola living with you and Paddy? Not too bad. Paddy finds it a bit difficult. Two's company, three's a crowd. I couldn't be doing with anybody interrupting me and my Bob. You know, especially if you want a little kiss and a cuddle. We all get on very well, Mrs Orb, under the circumstances. Thank you. Please decide on the wine, Trisha. We've been at this for hours. Know your cheese straws, Marlon. Hmm? Do you think you could rustle us up a few to nibble on? For you, my sweet anything. Uh -uh. What do you think, boys? <laughs> Yeah, fine figure of a woman, Diana. You look wonderful. Someone's a lucky fella. <laughs> Not if my experience is anything to go by. Oh, by the way, I saw Mac earlier. He looks like he's working up a real appetite. Really? I'll just have to satisfy it for him then, Mona. Oh, Trisha. Oh, you do look lovely, Diane. You've made a real effort, haven't you? Anna, it's OK. I am gorgeous. No, off. <laughs> he's a lucky fella, is that, Mac? Fine, just go to your account. The vote was going against Seth. But we've doorstepped and done our best to turn it round. I've never banged on so many knockers in my life. Can't you do anything? No, I can't. I'm in charge of announcing the final vote. <clears throat> I'm like the United Nations, mate. I'll stay neutral. We're going to vote for you, aren't we? Yeah. OK, I'll talk to you later. Get in there. Diane. Hiya. Um, I was looking for a job for the summer holidays. OK, you can have Mark's old job, see how it goes, and when I get back from holiday, we'll have a chat about it. Or is it? <laughs> well, Bob and Louise will need some help behind the bar. That was Bernice on the phone. Oh, looking forward to you joining her on the cruise ship, is she? Yes, and someone else as well. Who? You. What, me? Oh, Marlon. How come? Well, some poor soul's been sacked, but my resourceful daughter's arranged for you to do some shifts on board ship to pay your way. Oh, Marlon. I'm going on a cruise. There's so much to do with the village in Bruno. Well, uh, there's lots for me to do. But I really want to go on holiday with you. Listen, you go, sweetheart. We'll have other holidays. Are you sure you don't mind? Of course not. No, I'm, I don't know I'm going to court without you, and I'll miss you like mad, but you've got to grab this opportunity while you've got it, Trish, haven't you? You're so good to me, Marlon. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Why did you choose the B&B to take me out? No offence, Alec. None taken. What's wrong with Scott and Chloe's all going into Leeds? Mike's cooking us a meal. Oh, I see. A romantic dinner for two? No, Mike's going to be here as well. Aren't you forgetting that Diane's dining with Mac tonight? Oh, yeah, Diane will be showing her face. Uh, she said earlier she had a date. I didn't realise it was with me. It's not on, Sid. I thought this was just you and me on our own for a change. We're on our own now? Yeah, but it won't be when your mate and Diana sat at the table with us. <sighs> Great night this is turning out to be. Look, to be honest, I'm only here because of Mag. Oh, thanks a lot. No, no. Between you and me, he's a bit nervous about doing this meal for Diane. I'm just here as a bit of moral support. Well, that's very nice of you. I know. I'm a good mate. Look, as soon as I'm finished here, us two can slip off. Well, all right, then. As long as I can get you to myself later on, I can live with anything. What do I do next? All right, just click on yes. And you're done. My turn now, Emily. I've uh, got a surprise for you at home. What is it? Yeah. Chloe, if you can bear to tear yourself away from my son, I need a hand. Sorry, Mum, Chloe's coming home with me. You can eat tea here. I can help out. The shop's ready for shooting. The shop and the cafe are staying open tonight, and I don't see why I should lose out on profits just because you two want to go off for a canoe. Get you out of here, you see. Who do you think you are, royalty? What, this old thing? Oh, it's just a dab of powder. Hey, you scrub a lovely, Betty. <laughs> <laughs> One does one's best. <laughs> well, how long are you going to be? We haven't got long before the voting oh, ends. Wang on, I'm just topping up my lip, eh? Well, frame yourself, woman. There's a lot of effort gone into this for you. Oh, all right, but stop mithering. There's thousands voting now. 
It says people are logging on like mad. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I'll go on then. It's OK, Seth. He's well as even now. <coughs> Maybe we should have an internet vote on whether Katie takes you back. I'd love to live long enough to see you be nice to your brother just for once. If you've been going through what we've been going through over our women, you'd be laughing at the other side of your face. It's so boring when this is over. Emily, you couldn't cover for Chloe, could you? Well, I don't mind. What about your mum? Oh, it's all right. I'll make up to her. Right, come on. Now, quick. Thank you. Scott, don't you dare! Only took two minutes. What's going on? Seems like we've both been set up, Diane. But we'll go now if you want. Sorry about this. It's a bit of a mess up. No, no, I'm fine with it. But, you know, it might turn out to be a laugh. Oh, it'll be a laugh, all right. Oh, Scott, this is lovely. Yeah, well, I might just think you're worth it. Come here, you. Mm. Mm. Enjoy your starters. Mm. Really tasty. Mm, not bad, is it, Diane? Fella cooking a slap-up dinner for you. Yeah, it's great. I wish Sid would do it for me. Nah, you won't want that. It'd either be burnt or I'd poison you. I'd be happy with a fish and chip supper for two. This is nice, though, isn't it, eh? We're all together, enjoying a nice bit of snap. Good glass of wine. Yeah, you've done a grand job, Mac. Are you sure? Yes, it's lovely. Look at you, you big baby. It's a good job on me to look after you. <laughs> That's what he needs, is a good woman to look after him. Oh, you're joking, aren't you? Look at all the women that have tried and failed with the pair of us two. And you're worse than me. You won't believe the amount of women he's left crying on the doorsteps, Diane. It's all coming out tonight, isn't it, Nicola? Hmm. Not sure I want to hear it, though, do you, Diane? No, neither do I. <clears throat> More wine, anybody? Yeah, fill us up. I'll have a glass. Could do with another bottle. Oh, and there was this one time we were doing up this B and B in Blackpool, and the landlady she grabs hold of Mike. More bread, Sid. Huh? You enjoying yourself? Yes, I am. Tonight's full of surprises, isn't it? All right, that's a vote for Betty to return to her good man. Mr. Sugden, over here, quickly. Give the man time to have a drink, Edna. Oh, well, I'm sandwiching a cup of tea and whatever the kids are having. Emily. I'm butchering as fast as I can, Mrs. Oak. Care for a snack, Edna? I ate before I came out and you haven't voted yet. Vicar, I hope you've done your duty. Of course, Mrs. Birch. Good, because we owe it to this couple to get them back together. It's all right, you nagging everybody, but have you voted yourself? Only about ten times. <laughs> More like twenty. All for better to go back home. Don't so. What are you doing, woman? I don't want Betty to go back. I want this to go on forever. My trade's gone up no end. All I have to do on this cruise is lie on the deck and sunbathe. Wish it was me. Do you fancy a stowaway, Diane? You're too big for the suitcase, Pat. Ah, oh, were you two out of the way? We could have some top nights out, couldn't we, Mac? Well, I hope you have a lovely time on that ship, Diane. Don't worry, I will. I bet you won't miss me, though, will you, Diane? I'll send you a postcard. <laughs> Mm. Mm. You're <laughs> spoiling me, Scott. And why not? <laughs> Hello? Yep. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, I am, because it's late. Yeah. Well, I'll have to then, won't I? <sighs> Sorry, darling, I have to go out. Oh, what now? Work. This late, but you've been at it all day. No, no, I'm just an important client, so I can't really say no, can I? Look, why don't you come here, sit down, take this, and I won't be long. All right. A bit of a shocker, that meal. You don't normally go all out for a bird. <laughs> mm. 
Wouldn't have thought he had it in him, would you? Yorkshire's answer to Jamie Oliver. <laughs> well, I don't often do this. You know, I made a special effort tonight for Diane. I'm flattered. Right, time for me to go. No, Diane, stay. Afraid not. I need me beauty sleep. <sighs> Look, tonight didn't go according to plan. Thanks for a very interesting evening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, Betty, you look a picture. A real beauty. I know. Come on, Seth. When I first set this webcam up, I didn't mean it to end up like this. It, it just got out of control. Like everything else you get your hands on. Oh, well, that's as may be, but... But I am sorry. Yes, well, you still haven't told me, or all the folks who are watching, why I should come back over this threshold. Oh. You're still as beautiful to me as when I first laid eyes on that cheeky lass with big blue eyes and blonde curls. Oh. And it don't matter what work says on that internet, I still want you to come home, lass. Oh. <laughs> Get on with it, you silly beggar. Oh, Seth. Uh, <clears throat> I have here in my hand the results of the internet vote. <clears throat> Please go. And here is the results. It's a close thing. Ooh. Sorry, Seth. But she's coming home. Then she's coming back. Like it's a lump, <laughs> <laughs> Well. That's my sandwich sales down 50%. Are you glad they said you had to come home? Well, truth be told, I will miss the show a lot. And all the fan mail. Oh, I'm sorry about that. But I wanted to come back to you all along. Cos I missed you, you daft beggar. Oh, <laughs> come here, my precious. <laughs> hey, do the honours, would you, Len? 